Roberts. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. National cannot be trusted. National cannot be trusted to solve the serious challenges that our country faces. Everybody in this country knows that our housing is broken in this country. Everybody knows that our rivers are broken. And we all well know that our climate is broken. Children in this country are still getting sick from preventable third world diseases nine years after National have proved that they have failed time and time again. So let's talk about how families are doing, shall we? After nine years of National, rheumatic fever rates for Pacifica children are still growing after nine years of national. And what has national done in this budget? They have cut the budget for rheumatic fever prevention. They've gotten rid of the targets for reducing rheumatic fever. And you know why they've done that? It's because national knows that we will never get rid of rheumatic fever in this country until we solve the housing crisis. And what has national done in this budget? They haven't, they haven't done anything serious about dealing with housing. They've given money to the accommodation supplement, which just goes to landlords and increases rents. Even they know that. Their own information tells them that. They put more money into emergency housing, which is a declaration of failure by this government. It is a declaration of failure to say we will fund four more years of emergency housing because we're not going to bother to do what's needed to build the housing that our families desperately need to live in. And why do they desperately need to live in? Because their children are still, after nine years of national, getting sick from preventable illnesses like rheumatic fever. Up to 1,600 New Zealanders will die this winter because of cold, damp, and mouldy homes. Up to 15 of those people will be children, babies that have just been born, children who are cherished and loved by their families. And up to 15 will die this winter because their homes are damp and cold and mouldy and make them sick. Nine years National has had to make sure that every single one of those 15 kids has a decent place to live that makes them well, not sick. Nine years National has had to make sure that we don't have extra deaths in winter because housing is so cold and miserable. 1,600 families will suffer this winter because of National's failure. That is all that this government has delivered to our country as more and more people getting sick, and far too many of them dying for it. <coughs> National still means families living in unsafe homes. National still means families living in their cars and in garages over winter. And National still means selling off the very state houses that those families could be living in right now keeping themselves warm and dry and healthy. So mental health services is becoming uh, number one in the concern of New Zealanders around health. Everywhere we see, we see more and more people suffering from mental health issues because of stress, because of all sorts of problems, poverty, but not being able to find the help that they need. Suicide rates have jumped under National. During the nine years of this National Government, we have seen a surge in child suicides in this period, in youth suicide in the nine years of National. And what have we seen National do in this and previous budgets? They have been cutting the funding for the very mental health services that will keep these children, these young people, alive. We hear stories almost every week of health services that are desperately trying to provide for their community 
and the families that are around them, but cannot because National has, year after year, nine years on, cut the funding for those essential health services that save New Zealanders' lives. This is what National's legacy will be. It's more and more New Zealanders unwell and far too many of them dying because of it. That is what nine years of National is leaving us. What about our beautiful and pristine rivers? The rivers that are part of our birthright, part of our economy, part of the joy of being New Zealanders in this beautiful country. You cannot safely swim in 62% of New Zealand's, New Zealand's rivers because if you do, you risk getting sick. That is <laughs> and the man responsible for that is still in denial, as you can hear him squeaking from across the chamber. National, instead of cleaning up those rivers, instead of holding those polluters to account, instead of making sure that they pay for the pollution that they are spreading into our waterways and pay for the cost of cleaning up, National gives more subsidies and public money to irrigators and to polluters. National does their failure to take care of our environment, the very environment that provides our health, that provides for our families and provides for our economy, is yet one more failure to add to the many that is the legacy of National's nine years. Four out of five bird species in this country are at risk, are at risk and are of extinction. Four out of five. And yet this government, National, continues with coal mining and Kiwi habitats on conservation land while handing out fat subsidies to oil and drilling companies to drill in the Maui dolphin's habitat. The Maui dolphin is on the brink of extinction. National's nine-year legacy will be the extinction of some of these species, some that we have held dear. So now is the time, New Zealand, to rid ourselves of National's failure, of this nine-year degradation of the things that we hold the most dear. Our families, our children, our loved ones. We hold them the most dear. So they should be at the heart of a government. And in a Greens government, families will be at the heart of that new and progressive government. Families, that is why we released the budget for all mothers, Sarah, just a few weeks ago before the national government's budget. Because that was a clear signal to New Zealand that we will put families and children at the heart of any new government that we are part of. And that is why we will continue, sir, to fight for the right of communities to have their rivers and their waterways cleaned up, the right of them to be able to drink safe water from their own taps, a right that National has degraded over the last nine years, and how we will make sure that we have responsible citizens, global citizens, in the fight against climate change and in the, and in the investment and the innovation and opportunity that a 21st century sustainable economy can bring to our country. So nine years of National have proven that their experiments on our country have been a failure and our families and our environment have taken the cost of that. <laughs> But it's an experiment that New Zealanders are now tired of. It is an experiment that New Zealanders are putting aside in September because they will not tolerate any more the degradation and harm that this national government has caused them. And they are looking for a new and progressive government of which the Greens are a part that will put families and our environment at the centre of the decisions that we make. That is our commitment to this country. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Five minute call on behalf of the National Party, Joanne Hayes. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and what a load of cods will